Thanks, guys. Um, obviously, we didn't play very well today. Give South Dakota State credit. They did some really good things um, that uh, affected us and they had a good game plan. I told the guys, I, I, don't, I don't question our effort. Our effort's as good as there is uh, in, in college football. We didn't execute today, and, you know, we <coughs> had some opportunities where we couldn't get off the field on defense and had some opportunities where, uh, obviously, when you, when you have the turnover bug and you turn it over, and especially on short fields with that good of an offense, um, bad things are going to happen. We will not point a finger at anybody, offense, defense. We were not very good executing on offense. We were not very good executing on defense. And we had too many penalties in the special teams game. So I'm not going to get into do we have to do this or that with the offense, defense. It's one game. It's a big game because it's a marker game. But by no means uh, is our season all of a sudden in jeopardy. All of our goals, everything we have is in front of us. Uh, and we've got a great group of seniors. So open up for questions. That we didn't rush the ball enough or very well. Chris, what was SDSU's defense doing to Easton that, that caused so much havoc for him today? I don't know. I, I, that's a good question. I mean, off the top of my head, I, I, I think he missed some throws. Um, and maybe there was some, you know, some added pressure. I mean, just naked eye, uh, they did a good job maybe changing up some of the things. And, and I thought there was a lot of plays out there uh, for us offensively that we just didn't execute. Bottom line is we just didn't execute very well today. You, you would have liked to see you guys stick with the run more? Like you, kind of, you said you didn't run enough. Or well, I just look in and say we had 27 rushes for 108 yards. That's... Uh, uh, that's that's not very many. We need to be in the 40 plus. Doesn't uh, take nothing away from. Did we call things wrong? I, we just you know we have we have the ball for 25 minutes and have 55 plays. We're not going to win a football game. He's just yeah, he's. I think he's the best tight end in FCS. He's probably one of the best in in FBS too. I mean, I, the kid's just a great player, and and uh, um, I've got nothing but great things to say about that kid. The kid's a winner. No, no, I don't think we got out physical by any means. We got out, out executed, but nah, we didn't get out physical. So was it just didn't come out with enough fire? I mean, what we, we, guys, we're going to lose a football game now and then. I know that's a like a novel thing here, but you know what? Other teams are pretty good too. They had a good plan, and they beat us today. I'm, I will never say our kids didn't have fire, didn't have energy. Son of a gun, we've won like 100 games in the decade. We are fine. We didn't play well today. It's not because the kids weren't fired up, but da da da. They had a good plan. They executed better than we did. Chris, how big was that conversion to Winnicky? It seemed if you guys get a stop there, you're only down six. Yeah, I, yeah, it was. There was about five or six critical plays on third down that we we needed to get off the field, you know. And that's that's the frustrating thing uh, is uh, I, I thought Christian did a good job of keeping himself alive uh, where he get outside of contain and stuff, and that that uh, uh, that was a big factor in it because we were able to get some pressure on him, but then uh, he'd scramble out and make some plays. And 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 Jake's a tough matchup, you know. I, I thought Jalen did a nice job. He's just a tough matchup because he's so big and physical. Yeah, we talked about that just a little bit ago. Yeah, it's it's something that's uh, uh, not uh, good for us if we don't have the ball. You guys haven't won, you know, the marker game for years, and SDS you have in the last two. Say it kind of enhances the rivalry between the two teams. Well, what enhances the rivalry is because we play each other so much. I told John I, we'll probably see each other in December. Both of us kind of looked at it and it's like, yeah, I mean, that's kind of unfortunately what's going to happen. But um, when you play them as much as we have. You know that's that's the tough thing is they know us so well we know them so well, so you know I, it, it. We're I'm disappointed for our seniors uh, that they didn't uh, bring the marker home and that's a big deal to those guys and it's a big deal to the former players and um, yeah it's just we just didn't play well. Chris, any injuries today? So leave I leave. Yeah, I don't I don't know what happened to him. So I mean obviously I didn't get a chance. Bobby didn't say anything to me yet, so I don't know yet. Two games to go. What you mentioned are off the top. Still, all your goals are in front of you. What, what is the message going forward now? 
Well, stay together. You know, don't don't let out, outside influences tell you you're not a good football team. Uh, make sure that uh, uh, we keep it uh, in house and make sure that uh, we do a great job of preparing ourselves because we've got Senior Day next week and, and a really tough opponent in, in South Dakota. And I want to send those seniors off with a with a win at home. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, we talked about this league's really good and anybody can beat anybody. And so uh, we cannot. Let this linger. We, we, we have to be able to move on. It's going to hurt today. It'll probably hurt tomorrow. Uh, but uh, come Monday, the guy's got to come uh, ready to go to work and, and ready to play a really good South Dakota team.